This Wednesday is a rare day for the Jewish and education communities in the state of Michigan. It's Yom Kippur, which is one of the holiest days, and it's Count Day, which impacts public school funding. Well, this puts several Metro Detroit school districts, which have a significant number of Jewish students, in somewhat of a bind. Yom Kippur is regarded as the most holy day of fasting and prayer in the Jewish community. In observance of the holiday, Jewish adults may take the day off work, and children will take the day off from school. But this year, Yom Kippur falls on Wednesday, October 5th, Michigan's Count Day, which is held twice a school year. Here's what Count Day is. It's when all public schools in Michigan tally the number of students attending their schools. So bottom line, if students are not in attendance for count day, that's less money for their school district. Currently, districts receive $9,150 per student. 90% of their funding comes from the fall count day. Ann Arbor Public Schools is one district which requested a waiver but was denied by the Michigan Department of Education. The superintendent says it has since received support from legislators. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Attorney General Dana Nessel sent a statement to parents in Ann Arbor which said in part, quote, I also asked the MDE, Michigan Department of Education, to ensure that going forward as it follows Michigan law, which requires Michigan schools to hold count day on the first Wednesday in October, it carefully examines conflicts for religious holidays and works with schools to accommodate them, end quote. On its website, the Department of Education listed three criteria for students to be counted if they miss count day. If a student gets an excused absence and attends within the next 30 days, if a student receives an unexcused absence and attends within the next 10 days, and if a student is suspended and attends within the next 45 days. I spoke to the West Bloomfield School District. West Bloomfield has one of the highest Jewish populations in Michigan. A spokeswoman said that they have applied for a count day comp, which means that they will count students on the next day, which is Thursday, October 6th. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.